In this video, we're going to show you how to enable P2P for remote viewing on your NVR or DVR. First, we're going to right-click, go to Main Menu, down here under the Management and Network Settings. Then we're going to go to the P2P tab. Now, notice we've already got DHCP set up on our NVR, and we already have an IP address from our router. So, we're going to come down here to the P2P tab. We're going to see that it's disabled here, and we want to make sure that this is enabled. So, we're going to enable it click apply now we're gonna go ahead and click back and go back into network into P2P again and we're gonna to want to make sure that this status says that it's online this will allow us to scan the device serial number here into our cell phone app to get up and running with a remote viewing in no time now that we've enabled the P2P connection method on our recorder we can go ahead and download the app for our smartphone for iPhone, it is iDMSS Plus, and for Android, it is GDMSS Plus. So here we've already downloaded the app on our company smartphone. So now we're going to open the app. Then we're going to go to the main menu. So we're going to click the home icon in the top left-hand corner. Now we can see our home menu, and at the bottom we have several choices. Home, device, message, and me. We want to go to device. This brings us to the device manager. Here we can add devices, so we're going to go to the plus icon at the top right hand corner. And then it gives us several options here. For this method, we're going to use the scan method. Now this brings up our camera and we can go ahead and scan the QR code for our NVR. Alright, this auto populates the device serial number or SN. Then we can click next. Now this is asking for the device type. We know we're connecting to an NVR. And this pre-populates your serial number for you and says the add mode is P2P. Now we can give this a name. We're going to give it office, username admin, we'll type in our password. And now to save this, we're going to press the floppy disk or save icon at the top right hand side of the app and this should go ahead and save our device information and then try to access the NVR and pull up some channels. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.